So welcome to the video. This could be considered either small area, but we're approaching medium area in the size of this today. This is a possession self-organizing game. Again, why I call it self-organizing. These players don't have positions, but this is a four versus one, right? This yellow player is always playing with the blue team. This yellow player always playing with the white team. After three passes from here, can we get the ball to a player on your team who runs into this space here? So now we're playing in between the lines. This area here is in between the lines. So if he runs here, even here, and we get him the ball, then he could pass into these players, and then he would go back into this area here. If blue gives up the ball, blue becomes the defenders, red will come in here and join this yellow player. This is not an easy game, especially with the size of the grid that I made it. If players are having trouble, just extend the grid a little bit and it'll be much easier for them. So let's take a look at how this played out. This is about breaking the lines, about finding spaces. So we have four versus one here. There we go. He made that run into the space, was able to transfer it into this yellow team. That was a perfect example of what we're trying to do. Again, 4v1. Yeah, it was able to get into that into that half space, break the lines. You could see he's inching up in this space. Now he needs to come back, but there you go. They found him, switched the field. Did a really nice job right there. Ideally, you would want the player to run into that space and not be there already. You see how he ran into that space there? And then we were able to switch it. That's a really good example right there. This red team struggling to win the ball a little bit right now. This was a little... This is a good stint of possession that these guys had right here. Nice idea by this young man to try to come in and try to break the line there. But now he needs to come back. There he is. He's back. Breaks the line again. Can't quite get him the ball. Now he needs to come back. He shouldn't be staying in that area. But good job there. And that is your... We're going to call this a small to medium area possession game. This is somewhere in between in my methodology. But it's a nice game because now we added a direction. We added a runner, breaking lines. So it's a nice training environment where players have to think about multiple ways to be successful. It adds that third man run into here. Really good training environment.